my babies. So in today's video, we're gonna go over some apartment advice or lessons and tips and all the type of stuff that I've learned so far within my first year of being in my apartment. And while we doing that, I'm gonna be taking all my braids because I'm actually about to do a video on me bleaching and dyeing my hair um today. So Anyways, we're gonna get into the apartment tips and whatnot. I'm gonna get situated with part of my hair and whatnot, and I don't know why I keep saying whatnot, and get into the video. All right, y'all. So we're gonna hop right on in to tip number Oh, I didn't even do my intro, so hey, y'all. It's Kamari, if you don't know. Hey, welcome to my channel. My channel vibe is Bob's, I don't know. <laughs> Talking about Bob's. My channel vibe is older cousin, older sister, younger sister, whoever you need me to be to you is who I am. And we talking like we on FaceTime. That's what it is. So now we're going to hop right on into the video. So my first apartment tip or thing that I wish I would have done moving into my apartment is pricing. So as you're looking at apartments and stuff, especially if you're looking at apartments now, they are expensive as fuck for no reason. Like, even the non-renovated apartments <clears throat> are expensive as shit. So, when I first moved into my apartment, it was a year ago, um, I got a two-bedroom, two-bath that was over a 1,000 square feet, and it was 1400 including internet, water, rent, and the $100 in fees that they charge me, <coughs> um, monthly fees that they charge me. So, at the time, I think my budget was 1200 but I really wanted to be about the house. I just thought this was a perfect apartment. I just was like, I'm getting up out. I'll take the 200 out of my budget for other stuff and keep it pushing. So, cool, right? Um, now, with a lot of apartments, you have to make three times um, the rent as your income to apply or get approved or whatever. So what I would recommend is actually, however you're deciding to move out, whether it's an apartment, a roommate, make sure it's a fourth of your income because you'll want that extra work room. Because um, I think like four or five months after I got into my apartment, I had a car accident that ended up adding over like just under a thousand dollars extra in bills and all that type of stuff. So that wiggle room became real tight for a couple months because it wasn't in my budget to plan for any life stuff and you know everything something's gonna happen to you till it does so definitely <clears throat> if you can i recommend um getting something a fourth of your income so if your income is four thousand dollars do not move into a space for more than a thousand dollars as your rent so that's my first tip to avoid my videos getting copyrighted, I will be using my voice for my own theme music. Bum, 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 bum. Da, da, da. Black woman are phenomenal. My second tip is for furnishing. Furnishing. Y'all gonna find out on my YouTube channel as I watch my videos that I have a hard time pronouncing stuff. And it's not because I'm like slow or it's just I have a hard time pronouncing stuff, especially because I just woke up. My brain ain't all the way functioning. And I'll be a little nervous. And when I'm nervous, I mumble. So just keep that in mind. But um, furnishing, 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 putting stuff in your apartment. I put everything in my apartment, I think, for like right in between $4,000 and $5,000. Um, give or take. Really, I want to say it's closer to 4000 So I furnished my whole apartment for like four thousand dollars so my tips for that are go to outlets so like rooms to go they have an outlet i got both my couches from rooms to go for under eight hundred dollars i'll do a furnishing my apartment tour this is just an apartment tour but i'll do a furniture one so i can tell y'all where i got everything in my apartment but just know outlets are your favorite place um get your plates your dining utensils stuff like that from dollar tree yes i said dollar tree Dollar Tree for the glass are the white versions if you want to be fancy. And then Target or Walmart for the plastic, you know, the washable, quick washable versions of your stuff. Um, 
what else what else what else target surprisingly is pretty good when it's on sale like around this time the little august back to school sale is a really good time to get stuff from target um liquidation warehouses liquidation warehouses are gonna be your absolute best friend your absolute best friend i got liquidation warehouses you can search for them on facebook i'm probably sure you can search for them on google or even tiktok and find some those are going to be your absolute best friend because their warehouses that get stuff brand new are slightly damaged like very slightly damaged and you can get like half off or more on the products i got my i got a couple of stuff from liquidation warehouses and i never paid even half of what it costs um so that's my first tip i'm trying to think is there anything in furnishing that you guys will need to know third tip is if you need a roommate get a roommate yeah and that kind of goes back to my first tip about price and stuff like that i wanted to move out by myself i wanted to be alone i had already been in the house with people my whole life which we all have but for me i was done i was like no i'm not trying to take responsibility for nobody else i just want to be responsible for myself i ain't got to deal with nobody's shit but my own i just want peace and for 19 years i ain't been that well at that time it was 18 years but for 18 years i want that peace like within my own uh space i was just like i want to be at peace so <clears throat> anyways i was just hell bent on not having a roommate like hell bent like in no way um and now i'm about to get a roommate because my rent went up and for some reason 1600 compared to 1400 that ain't that ain't that ain't pretty like i think i could have even did 1500 but it's just that the 16 it just don't sit right with my soul so definitely get a roommate if you need a good roommate and the way i look at it is because i was so um set on preserving my peace especially just i was just set on preserving my peace and I wish I kind of would have thought of it, thought of it in the way of like the other stuff I want to do. So one thing that y'all will start seeing me doing, and what I'm about to do now is start traveling. And I wasn't thinking in them. I was just thinking about being on my own. I wasn't thinking about okay, six months from now I'm gonna be wanting to do this. How am I gonna be able to fit this into my budget and stuff? And with the roommate now, like that extra eight hundred dollars and some change a month that that would be beautiful i could go on a trip every month with that alone because i don't know how to budget but like so definitely consider getting the roommate for sure for sure do that um roommate or a studio apartment if you are by yourself um now i'm gonna be real people are gonna be like oh look into low-income apartments but most of them have like a wait list of a year um or plus so that might be a little hard if you're trying to move out now right all right we're gonna go on to tip number four but give me a second because i'm trying to concentrate on this little bird right here and we are back with the kb original soundtrack bum, bum, bum. this is my this is my this is my living room yeah don't you like the transition all right y'all Tip number four is come up with a good routine. So I'll go over my routine real quick. Every Sunday, or at least Saturday, Sunday, Monday, somewhere around that time range, depending on <clears throat> my schedule for the week. Every Sunday, I'll clean my apartment. Um, So like more on a deep clean, like, you know, bleach and stuff like that. And then once a month, I'll deep, deep clean my apartment. And it's usually at the end of the month, right before I start the next month. And that's when I usually like reorganize everything, check off what I need, um, like laundry, laundry detergent, trash bags, things like that, see what I need. Um, and really deep clean my apartment. That's when I sage and stuff like that. And then, like I said, every week I try to clean my apartment. Sometimes it ends up being like two weeks, but for the most part, it's kind of programmed in my mind. All right, it's Sunday. I need to get to cleaning. And then for like every single day, I straighten up my apartment. Like if, I mean, I like wash dishes or nothing. Oh, I hate washing dishes, oh my God. But if like my kitchen is dirty, then from the night before and I went to sleep without cleaning up, then in the morning time for like 15 minutes, I gotta straighten up my apartment, my apartment or vice versa. 
if all day I haven't done nothing to my apartment 15 minutes before I go to bed. And I think that's just more so for my sanity because for one, I clean when I'm overwhelmed. Like, I don't know why. We do know why. It's because you have trauma. But anyways, I had started rambling right here. So we just going to skip right on through this part and go through my other advice I had to give with this tip. Give yourself time. Like, you're about to be on your own, you know, a different space on your own, you know, probably paying stuff for your first time. Like, give yourself some time. Give yourself a grace period, like, three to six months because it's not going to be perfect just coming into it. I thought it was going to be perfect just coming into it. I tried so hard for it to be perfect coming into it. <clears throat> and I'm glad it wasn't. Because through all the things that I fell through, like, I don't know. Just, I was working every day. That didn't work for me. I was working every other day. That didn't work for me. Like, I done did a lot of stuff. Um, and I'm glad I went through the process. So, enjoy the process of getting to be on your own space. And I know if you're watching videos like this and you like me, you a Virgo, who wants everything to be perfect moving in go ahead and give it up just give it to god baby give it to god give it to the universe give it to whoever you need to give it to because i ain't even trying to be funny when i say it life gonna come and i'm not not in a bad way like it's gonna come with blessings it's gonna come with lessons but you have to be ready to embrace it all and i'm excited for you on your next step in your journey it's a big deal you should be excited too whether it's you moving on the campus, you moving into a dorm, you moving into an apartment with four other, or three other roommates, because they be having a three, whether you moving by yourself, whether you get in the house, whatever your situation is for you to be here watching this video, um, whether you get in a, like I said, a room, whatever the case is, you should be excited about the next chapter in your journey and just live in the moment and enjoy the process of the journey. You know, it, just don't try to be perfect. Perfection is unattain unobtainable, trust me. So, that's my, well, I don't even know what tip I was talking about when I got into all that. <clears throat> dun, 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 dun. It's my living room, once again, from a different view. And this is my salon room, yeah, yeah. Look at that wall. Mm hmm I did that. All right, y'all. This one is a mini tip. Um, For any space that you're moving into, before you move into it, you're going to see this in a whole bunch of other videos. Make sure you do a walkthrough. Make sure you do, you know, like take pictures of the space beforehand, especially if you're doing a security deposit type of thing. Make sure you're doing all that <clears throat> beforehand. But also, too, like while you're cleaning the space before you move yourself in, get some bug repellent get some like six home six month to one year bug repellent and spray that before you move in and then don't throw the bottle away keep the bottle and then every month at the top of the month middle of the month however you need to do it you need to spray that motherfucker like you ain't ever spray nothing before in your life like i promise you i promise you you're gonna want to do that dun, dun, dun. They don't want to see you. They want to see the bathroom. All right, y'all. So tip number five is safety. Safety, 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 safety. You got to figure out some way to protect yourself and your space. Now, if you're not a gun person or maybe you're too young to have a gun, I'm not necessarily an advocate for guns. I'm not going to get political on here. But if you're comfortable with shooting a gun and having a gun and you're of age, I think you can be 18 to have a handgun in your house, but not carry on your person. I know you can have a gun um, at 18, but I know in North Carolina, it's, it depends on your state, but have something to protect yourself, whether it's a gun, a sword, a knife, a taser, a pepper spray, something that you can reach close to you um, given certain situations within a matter of like 10, 15 seconds no matter where you are in your house and are your space and get to it because the world is a crazy place it's a beautiful place but it's also a crazy place and you never know what may happen and you always want to be able to protect yourself and that's just the truth of the matter you could live in the safest freaking widest city i don't even know why i said white like white's supposed to be safe anyways you can live in the safest city 
in the world and you know still be at risk of something happening to you and i don't want to scare y'all that's never my intention is to scare y'all but it is the truth you just want to be able to protect yourself because you never know what may happen so definitely get something like i said pepper spray taser you choose security cameras security cameras are always good you can get them from amazon um like a whole little pack to set up or even facebook marketplace um and do pretty good so just make sure you have something that you are comfortable with the biggest thing is that you are comfortable with so if you're not comfortable with swords don't get a fucking sword if you're not comfortable with pepper spray don't get pepper spray if you're not comfortable with a uh, taser then don't get a taser get something that you're comfortable with protecting yourself with and you know have that so that was my last tip y'all and i hope y'all enjoyed the tour plus the little tips and advice um i know it's kind of last minute and kind of rushed because i'm doing my hair but i definitely wanted to get this video out to y'all because it's been literally a year in the making i promise y'all girl kamari you know whoever i am to you right now in this moment i hope you like the video i am gonna get better with doing videos and stuff over time so you know stick it out with your girl subscribe to this channel other than kb here i don't know why i cut out but make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you like the video if you like the video it helps me out so much share it with your friends if i made you laugh if you like the tips you know just support me because i want to support y'all i'm over here doing the video to help y'all so help me help y'all that's what i'm saying anyways finish the video all right y'all this is my art room yeah i painted here and there i go again wanting to be seen my alarm came on in the middle of me talking but subscribe to this channel if you're interested in it you know it's vibes over here it's a safe place we don't judge none of that fun stuff and we might be getting into it if you interested in me myself not just my apartment tips because you're moving out right now and you just googled or youtube apartment tips and i came up and you're actually interested in who i am as a person then you know you can go check out the other videos on my channel or the other videos that will be on my channel if you don't see this tattoo then it's an older video if you see the tattoo then it's a newer video boom that's how you know um but yeah i love y'all so so much and i'm gonna see y'all in the me dyeing my hair i wonder what color what color are we dying y'all i will tell y'all it's gonna be blonde ish Anyways, I love you. Subscribe, like, comment, 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 comment. Oh, that's another thing. Comment on the video, y'all. I actually, I don't reply to the comments now because a lot of the comments are just like, thank you, which I good. I guess I could say you're welcome. But in my head, when I be seeing comments like that, I've already responded in my head because it's like, oh, you're welcome. But I never like type it out, which I'm gonna start typing it out. But if you actually like ask me questions or suggest videos in the comments, I promise y'all I'll do them. I promise y'all I'll do them. I promise. And you can also follow me on Instagram. Instagram, I'm I'm not on there a, a whole lot, but I'm probably a little more likely to respond on Instagram if you want Instagram. And yeah. All right, now I'm done. Bye. I'm not sure why I just showed y'all the wall of my room, but it looks completely different now and my apartment looks completely different so updated apartments are coming very soon bye